Okay, welcome all YouTubers. You're probably wondering what the hell am I looking at? This is your white boy Mike who thinks he's gangster. Welcome to best tech product reviews looking at the most innovative coolest gadgets and items and electronics. This is the original EO1 first generation electronic objects. Got this on Kickstarter. It is a digital app controlled photo frame you could use it with your with your iPhone or Android I believe I use it with the iPhone it was about six hundred dollars when it came out about two years ago on uh, Kickstarter and I'm gonna be doing an unboxing on EO2 second generation so this one is up for sale I will be putting on up on eBay if you wanna save some money guys check that out uh, let me show you what a side view looks like I'm just doing it handheld on my camcorder and as you can see it comes with like a special uh, bracket uh, so it makes it stick out kind of a little bit far from the wall hopefully the new one will be uh, closer to the wall so let me show you really quickly just so you know a little bit uh, how it works why you're looking at donuts I know that's kind of funny but uh, let me pull out the app go to smartphone apps and then this is what the app looks like EO and then you can have fa you can have playlists I have favorites and one specifically for the holidays and then you can upload pics uh, you can see uh, different art galleries there's a mem membership you have to pay for that one and then you can see uh, what other uh, photos images some of them have motion and some don't that the people have on the community so you can upload your own and you can see what kind of library they have what their favorites are all that part is free so let me go back to my favorites playlist for example and you're looking right now at donuts and let's choose let's choose work okay and then I hit display and then let's see what happens give it a little bit of time Probably, hopefully the second there we go and just like that I just put up a new now they have a setting also so that every 15 minutes every half hour every hour or so it will change image, images all by itself isn't that really cool this is probably the best decorative item that I've, I've got bar none guys so right now I have it on um, I had it on shuffle so but, the soonest that they had it was every half hour so the most frequent is every 15 minutes you can do every 30 every hour every 12 hours so because I have hundreds of images some of them with motion I put it on the most frequent every 15 minutes so every 15 minutes it's going to change and shuffle and then I put it on the timer so that at 10 p.m. it goes off and that at the top there's like a touch sensor at the, the at the top and that turns off the the display it uses up very little power so right now I'm gonna walk over to my kitchen island and we're gonna do an unbox of the EO2 so let me set this up on my tripod I don't have time for video editing guys let's just focus more on the quality snap that in connect my external mic and I'm gonna connect my power cord to the camcorder Okay, there we go. Flip over the camera so I can see what I'm looking at. All right, guys. So let me read you briefly what has changed or about the about the EO2. Comes in a few different frame options. I got the black EO2 most powerful display for art ever. It's a 1080 HD display. Minimizes glare from every angle. Sleek black, anodized aluminum. Beautiful inside and out. It has an ambient light sensor, so it can detect between uh, the dims and brightens to match your environment. It has an included wall mount for leaning and a 10-foot power cord for simple and easy installation. Uh, have a choice of gorgeous frames: walnut, maple, black, or white hardwood frame. They're handcrafted in Pennsylvania, and then you can also buy an optional stand. The, the default is the black linoleum, that's what I got, where you can get the black or white wood. And then 
You can also get a stand if you want to mount it on top of your furniture. A no-tip stand. Okay, here's the tech specs. It comes at just one size. A 23-inch diagonal LED backlit matte display. 1080 by 1920 native resolution. 9 to 16 ratio. 179 degree viewing angle. Can't get it almost any better than that, guys. And the height is 21 and 3 quarter. The width is 12. 0.94 and the depth now is only 0.75 and the weight is 14 pounds. It's wall mounted or leaning with two rubber feet or stand up sold separately. Uses 36 watts less than a light bulb, one year warranty, 30 day return policy, and they added now dual band 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. So let's see the it's quarter, what was the thickness here? Three quarter inch depth. Let's measure the old one. See, see if it's thinner. And looks like it's about the same thickness, but I believe it will hug the wall closer. Let's see, and that's it. Let's open this box. See what it looks like, guys. Sorry. I have had a really long day, so I'm not as energetic as I usually am. So this comes in a cool box. It was it came in the the outer box too. It had an opening on one side that with a flap. So it's got the their art graphics, and this is their logo. You'll see it also in the app. And then inside it says connect to art electronicobjects.com okay and then they give you this I know without reading what this is because I have an old one in my room this is just a, a placard to help you decide where to put it and how the size will lay out on the wall before you install it and it shows you get the power supply the power cable so it looks like it's a two piece before I think it was one piece and then a wall mount, screws and anchor, lug and screws, got mounting washers, hex key, and a pencil, and then an install guide, and then download the app, which I already have. You can have more than one digital frame on your phone, so that is not a problem. I'm going to remove the old one. I'm going to do a second video once I have this puppy installed. And then, aha, uh -huh, this comes in a kind of like carry bag. It's pretty interesting. Let's look at the, let's see what the accessories are. There's nothing here. It's pretty well protected. Let's see what's in here, guys. Probably all the mounting crap. That's the bracket where it slips down. Definitely much slimmer than the old one, guys, by a, lo a, a mile. Got a pencil, that's cool. So it looks like it's a whole whole block power supply. Don't like that honestly, because I'm gonna be seeing that either on the wall or the carpet or something unless I can hide it behind the behind the unit. So maybe I can buy an alternative that doesn't have this. So already don't like that, but Unless I can use the old one, maybe. Then you have the lug hardware. And got another bag mounting hardware. And the little advertisement sticker. And then the warranty sheet. So let's get this box out of the way. Get a good look at the unit. See what that's like. So it feels not as heavy as I say it is. It feels nice and slim. And it's got a flap on the back, so it's pretty cool. And then the, the, you can see the little logo, which is pretty cool. Okay. Let's 
got uh, faintly at the bottom right, little E01 logo there. Let's see what else we got. And then, yeah, on the bottom, there's a rubber feet. See a couple, a couple little Allen screws or torque screws, something like that. And then in the back, it's all perforated. Set this gently. And then it looks at the like at the top. There's a touch, touch sensor. See that, guys? Probably to turn the display on and off on or off instead of a power switch so if you just want to turn off the display part and then on the bottom looks like a serial looks like we got a serial number and a female USB or power connector let's, let's get some more light on that zoom in so you guys can see what I'm looking at Actually, the power connector is hiding under this little bump here, and then there's slots here. That's probably for the mounting. Probably have this upside down. Let's see. Let's see if there's rubber feet. No, there's not feet on that end. This must be a diagnostic port because the AC adapter has a round connector. So you connect it into right here, obviously, like that. This is definitely a lot different from the previous one. And then the mounting bracket, it's got a built-in, it's got a built-in bubbler too, which is pretty cool. And then the slots, not sure. Okay, there's two screws. It's like some holes in the rear. So I'm going to have to study this a little bit more. Got some slots and there's some threaded holes in the back. Probably can't make that out in the video, but there's some spots like here, here, and here, and here where to mount it. Let's see what kind of hardware we got. Okay, so we've got the, the washers and then this crappy anchor, which I don't like. A couple Phillips screws. So, interesting why one anchor. Oh no, here's the, here's the other one. And then let's see what's in this one. Okay, and then in this one. Okay, you got the Allen key. Then you got those two short machine screws which go into the back, the back of the frame. And then in this baggie, it's like rubber washers or something like that. Kind of like nylon spacer washers. So, all right guys, so I'm gonna quit it right here. Once I get it installed, I do, will do a part two and we will compare the difference between first gen and second gen. Thanks for tuning in. Sorry it can be more exciting, but I'm gonna wait till I have it on the wall see what it looks like all turned on, see if it has a better resolution. Thanks guys, please subscribe, check out all my other cool videos. I will be posting a lot more in the next few weeks. I already have quite a few videos out just starting this channel up. Please share the link with your family and friends and you might the cool videos that you see on my channel. Thanks. Okay guys, it took a little bit of finagling around to figure things out. The little two lug screws, there's two holes here on the side, but that's for landscape orientation. I'm not even sure the device supports that, but that's what made things a little confusing. You put the two lug screws here and the two black uh, washers, they don't even tell you in the instructions where it goes. Because I was trying to see, does it go right here? And it also fits in well right here, but it makes sense the metal washer goes right here and then the two screws fit in like that and see in the instructions they're showing the lugs and the screws together and the screws and anchors but the mounting washers they don't show it goes with this I assume it does
because when I put this behind it with the bump of the large plastic two layer washer that's also black and then I slip it up it keeps it from wiggling a lot so it's a lot better with it so I assume this is the proper method and with the bubble level facing down and of course it's going to go like this because when it's on the wall the bubbler is going to face you and then boom like that so I'm going to, I'm going to mount it up let's see if we can set this puppy up oh shit I just powered it on I already got the app from the first generation so let's open that up go to EO EO app this is on the iPhone oh, I have to log in so let me log in so put it in my email and then my password I guess once you delete one you, you, it logs you out whoops wrong password that annoying so it should be pretty quick plug in your device wait for the hello screen to appear I have Bluetooth on which probably helps I'm within five feet as they recommend so I'm hitting ready and then it got uh, my Wi-Fi name because I'm connected to that Wi-Fi name I put on five gigahertz so it will download stuff faster Whereas before it was only 2.4. Are you sure? Yes. Enter the code that appears on the screen. So I'm going to put all my cap locks on in case it's case sensitive. KCRGLD. Okay. And then I'm going to hit go. Looking for a network. So far this is a little different. Probably has newer firmware. Connect to the internet. And boom, success, I think it says. So let's connect to my favorites. Let's see how quick it loads. I hit play. Do, 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 do. And boom, there we go. So it seemed, seemed to be faster. Anyhow, so that's part two. I don't think you need to see this on the wall. If you do, just check out my part one video of the of the EO1, and this is the EO2 second generation digital app controlled wall art. Probably my favorite decorative item that I ever got, guys, worth every penny. So freaking cool.